So the clinical skills team here are so, so supportive and invaluable. They provided me with so much support over the years in uh, my examination skills. What this allows us to do by practicing in a clinical skill lab is to practice these skills over and over again in a forgiving environment. Junior doctors today need to demonstrate a patient-centred approach to modern medicine and to do this they require both excellent communication and core clinical skills. At an undergraduate level, having the opportunity to develop these in addition to more generic professional capabilities is essential. At BSMS, this concept forms a fundamental part of the undergraduate curriculum and as such we have a designated clinical skills and simulation team. The team is made up of three senior clinical nurses who have an acute clinical background in addition to being registered teachers who will support your development throughout. The clinical skills teaching offered at BSMS complements the students' experiences in the clinical setting by offering both real and simulated training opportunities that increase in complexity as you progress through the programme. What we're referring to here is actually how we manage patients on a day-to-day -day basis. This could be from undertaking an initial assessment, performing a diagnostic test, interpreting an x-ray, through to cardiopulmonary resuscitation. At BSMS, we utilise a number of teaching approaches to help you acquire these clinical skills and they are introduced very early on in the curriculum. We are fortunate to be able to offer our students access to a clinical skills and anatomy training laboratory, a wide range of part task trainers, a high fidelity simulation suite and access to live simulated patients throughout the degree programme. Coming into third year, it's a little bit scary, but working with a team in the clinical skills lab who are super friendly, um, stress-free, you can learn how to do skills and then practice, and then if you get things wrong, it's easy to get things wrong. You can come back, practice, ask them, email them, contact them directly in person, and you can work to progress and um, work things out, and I think that makes a huge difference here at BSMS. BSMS is a small and personal medical school which allows us to run small group sessions for both academic and clinical teaching. Each session is facilitated by experienced clinical staff to support your individual learning and development in a controlled and safe environment. That way we can ensure that all students have an equal opportunity to develop the essential core clinical skills required by junior doctors today instead of relying solely on patient availability in the clinical environment. A good example of this is the increasing use of simulation in the undergraduate curriculum. We refer to simulation as a technique rather than a technology to replace or amplify real experiences with guided scenarios that replicate substantial aspects of clinical life. Medical simulations range widely in fidelity and realism from simple task trainers to mannequins, multimedia computer systems and standardised patients. Simple task trainers, for example, are extremely useful to teach procedural skills such as venipuncture and administration of an intravenous drug and allow the students with support to practice in a safe and forgiving setting prior to using these skills in the clinical environment. When I was on, um, uh, in A&E on my placement this year, I was in recess alone with someone who came in with septic shock and having had training with the Geraldine, Helen and Maria in the clinical skills lab, I was like, okay, no, I, I can do this. I know to go through the protocol and I know how to like, start the management before the other doctor gets here. All of our practical training is done within context in that the students have a good understanding of how it fits into their curriculum, what resources are available to support their development in practice and the ways in which this information might be assessed in the future. Research now clearly demonstrates that this type of practical simulation training, whether using a part task trainer or high fidelity simulator, leads to significant improvements in procedural skills among students, a fact that is also consistently supported by our students at BSMS. <laughs>